Welcome ladies and gentlemen to day 20 of the Squad Builder Showdown Advent Calendar and of course we are going to be joined by the Christmas Scrooge himself, Andy. Would you like to say hello mate? Hello mate. <laughs> oh I'm excited. This I've been waiting yeah for a while. It's been probably about, well the last time we recorded apart from day 19 which go and check it out if you haven't already. You maybe discard a couple of very interesting players, mate. Most notably, Cristiano Ronaldo, rule breakers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also an informer who's Mandambele, who might not mm -hmm. sound like the most expensive player in the world, but he was about 500,000 coins at the time, ladies and gentlemen. And right on the back of me packing Vieira. So it was basically like I didn't pack 88 Vieira whatsoever because it was 2 million coins gone in a matter of hours, which, yeah. I've been thinking about, mate, every single day for about the past month and a half since we recorded them videos, and I'm out for some serious revenge. If you guys are looking to buy or sell any Ultimate Team coins, go and check out u7buy.com. The link will be down in the description below. You can use my discount code JACK54 at checkout for a lovely little discount. Today, and uh, I hope you're, you are all ready to watch an absolute obliteration of your club. <laughs> well, that's a big word. Whoa. Okay. It's already started, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bit right. Is, is that a big word? It's a pretty big word. <laughs> big as in the context or as in... Someone's been at the thesaurus, basically, is what I was thinking. <laughs> I thought you were saying I was being a bit bold and confident in saying that. But look, I'm, look, I'm, I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling it. Um, how if, if you could rate your advent calendar so far out of 10 in terms of your performances we won't talk about we won't we'll disregard any video that we filmed yesterday it's one of those things where it all blends into one and i can't actually really remember the individual ones mm -hmm. i think it's gone quite well okay all right i'd say eight okay all right all right that's, that's i think good. i think that's fair yeah, I've, I think that's But it's one of well. them things where it just all blends into one in my brain. Like I said this quite a bit with... Do you remember you talk to people about football? Yeah. And you say, like, you pick... I don't know, for you, you pick some random Liverpool player, like Ricky Lambert, something mm -hmm. like that. And you say, oh, remember Ricky, Ricky Lambert? And people will go, oh, yeah. Remember Aston Villa away in 2016 where he scored that header in the 46th minute? And you're like, yeah. no, no, I don't remember that. How do you remember that? <laughs> We all love a bit of Licky Ram, but... Um, but, yeah, I can't remember all of the Squabble of Show dance that I filmed. Like, some people go, oh, Andy, remember that Squabble of Show where you did this? Like, honestly, mate, no. They yeah. all just blend into one in my brain. I'm not yeah. really sure. Hopefully today will uh, long will be uh, last long in your memory, mate, uh, for the day that your club... Was obliterated? Sank. Yes, obliterated. Ooh, sank to yeah, the obliterated, the, mate. Uh, FIFA Ultimate Team Ocean. That is, uh, that's that's the aim for today. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, we're going to be doing on flashback Messi because you haven't done an episode yet, have you? No one has done an episode on him yet. So no. it was a perfect time. He's worth 500,000 coins. No, none of us want to discard him out of our club. So he's a pretty big player, to be fair, um, to have on the line. And yeah, obviously these are pre-recorded um, to go up on certain days. So... By this point, Lionel Messi could have had his first could be a World, World Cup. Cup champion. He could be a World Cup champion, which, do you know what? We're not going to dive into too much detail, but they've actually not got too bad a chance, to be fair. Um, so, yeah. It'll be very interesting. Very interesting to see that indeed. Anyway, let's go ahead, mate. Uh, do you want to go ahead and reveal the formation you would like to use? I'm going to tell you the formation that is going to annihilate your club. Big words. It's a big word, isn't it? Someone's got the thesaurus out. Yeah, I literally did Google <laughs> obliterate synonyms. <laughs> did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> I'll have 4332, please. The Jack 54. Ooh. It should be called 43354, shouldn't it? Rather than 4332. Well, no, actually, actually, you've got that wrong. The 433rd was my formation. Oh, is that the Jack It's the, the 433 yeah, I was like, oh, look, okay. I keep losing games. I need as many defensive players as possible. Hence why I always used to go for the 433rd. And sure. back on the last FIFA, we used to have actual chemistry. 
uh, links. So yeah, that was and it was nice and easy to build a squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah incredibly. Um, I put down the four three three, mate. I got a little bit excited for a moment, then so you can have that formation. Okay, let me guess yours so I can eradicate <laughs> your club, mate. <laughs> eradicate. That sounds like it shouldn't work. I'm gonna eradicate. Yeah, eradicate your club. means I get rid of, doesn't it? Yeah, I know, but it just doesn't sound right, does it? In my Exterminate. eyes, anyway. <laughs> that sounds correct. That's okay, but that's 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 good. That's an improvement. I would like the four three three, obviously. Four. You can have it. I just put four three three. Ooh. Okay, we so both I'll have the, to. Uh, same idea. All right. Expunge. Does that one work? <laughs> Expelliarmus. <laughs> Mate, that's not the right one, is it? No, no. <laughs> right. Well, we need to dive in, mate, to the first players. Striker and winger. Let's do this. Here we are then, the first picks, mate. And as you are the guest on the channel, I'm going to give you the authority to go first, mate. The authority? Bloody hell, Jack. Authority. It's the, it's the episode of Big Put Words, isn't it, mate? Put the thesaurus down, mate. <laughs> What's the biggest word you can think off the top of your head? I was thinking of this yesterday, actually. This was properly random that I had to come up. Um, because we were walking the dog, and there's like loads of cracks in the pavement and stuff like that, and it's where water gets in and then goes cold overnight, and the water freezes and ex ice expands, doesn't it? When it freezes, yeah, and it makes the crack bigger, and then the next night more water goes in, and it eventually wrecks the roads and the pavements and stuff. That's called mm -hmm. congella fraction. Congella fraction. Yeah, it's a big word, isn't it? Sorry, mate, I ain't beating that one. No, yeah. I am not. I was going to say intelligence, which is rather <laughs> ironic, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let us know, ladies and gentlemen, in the comments section below, what's the bit? No, not the biggest word. Well, yeah, that's just the weirdest words, because then there was another one. This again came from walking the dog. There was some, like, f f snowy, frosty stuff on top of someone's gate. But yeah. then the sun had come out, and the snow was going, or the frost, it hasn't really snowed up here was going straight from solid to gas, and you could see in the sunlight the steam coming off the gate. Yeah. Sublimation, that's what that's called. <laughs> when something goes from a solid to a gas. I think someone word. has recorded far too many Squad Builder Showdowns this year, ladies and gentlemen. Lost my mind, I think. Lost your mind. Just walking mate. around, walking the dog <laughs> in a bloody science <laughs> lesson. <laughs> Take my murder. GCSE biology and chemistry <laughs> textbooks out with me when I'm walking the dog. Oh, God. Do you know what I want? Yes, mate, please. Let's hear it. Ben Yedder. Okay. And Terrier. <laughs> Sorry, Terrier. Yeah. Terrier. Okay, you can have them both, mate. I put down, I thought he's going to hybrid it up, but, you know. Well, I wanted Crespo and Accardi, but then I'm not falling for that stupid stuff again. Ooh. Building ridiculous players from ridiculous leagues, so there's not a chance. So I did have down on my whiteboard Accardi and Mertens, but I rubbed it out because I was like, there's no way he's going to be able to move. Like, there's no other players in the... Turks yeah, exactly. That be able to fit doing in. that stupidness again, like yeah. yesterday. So I put down um, Ben Yedda and Terrier. Sorry? <laughs> I'm joking. I put down Latari Martinez and Moise Keane because you love ex Everton players. Bloody that hell. do really well. Um, so, yeah. That's there what this are, World mate. Cup's been, hasn't it? Just Everton flops banging in goals. D wait, who? Davy Clarson. Anyone else? <laughs> Anthony Robinson. <laughs> Don't actually know if he scored, but he did play quite well for, uh, for the USA. Yeah. Do you know what? One, one man that. Yeah. You know Amrabat for Morocco? Yeah. I swear he has been about for years. And now everyone's hyping him up as some, like, mad player. I know Did he, he play for Swansea well. or something stupid like that? It, um, He definitely... Was it, like, Stoke or something? Was it Stoke? Amrabat. Because I, I, I think you might be right, you know, actually. He definitely played... He played for... No, no he, he didn't. didn't. No. no, he's... That's really weird. Who am I, I mean, thinking of, then? He's 26. I swear there's someone else called Amrabat that was like... I swear there's another Amrabat. I'm almost certain of it. Ah, yeah, there is. There's Nordin Amrabat. Yeah, but who did he play for? He played for Watford. 
Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, sure. So it's a different yeah. player. Yeah. Um, Swansea, Watford, basically the same thing. Yeah. So, I mean, to be fair, that guy was actually proper sick in the World Cup. Uh, and shout out to Morocco. So... Yeah, interesting to see where they end or it's up. But, um, Sofian Amrabat, that's insane in the World Cup. Yes, Sofian Amrabat, yeah. He was Mate, the man's like... got 78 stamina. Mate, he's got like... Is that like a round and error and it should be 178? <laughs> Literally. I, I don't know how... The guy in extra time, wasn't he? He was just doing an absolute madness against Spain. I couldn't believe it. I think, really. do, you know, do you know they've got their next game? And he just runs to that stadium from the one that he's currently at. <laughs> yeah, little warm up. They're only like 40 kilometres away, aren't they? And they're like, do you want to get on a bus? He's like, nah, don't worry, I'll run. <laughs> Madness. Absolute madness. Right, I've forgotten who I want, so let me just check my team. Okay, here we go. My team, then. We're going to kick things off up top with a little bit of JJ Akotcha. Because he can play striker. And then left wing, we're going to go for a bit of Simon, mate. Where are you getting these coins from, Jack? Huh? Where are, are you get getting these coins from? Mate. I just pack Vieira every week. Light work. Well, to be fair, Koch's Koch 800k, Simon's 30k. You know, it's just just how we do it, mate. I was going to go Neymar as well, but I thought, oh, you know, I can't beat you that bad. Be a bit, be a bit unfair <laughs> on you, to be honest. Wow, okay. Okay, if I have to discard your Koch as well as your Messi, I'm happy to do that for you, Jack. Here we go. I'll just clip that right now, ladies and gentlemen. Remember the quote. The quote he has just said. So good. I'll discard him twice if you want. Really? Yeah. Ooh, who did you put down? JJ Kocha. And Simon. And Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Martinez and Lozano. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we both had the same idea actually of Martinez. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think he's very he's good. good though. Oh, do you know what? Atari was slagging him off as well. I think he's really good. Yeah, Tom, I don't, he didn't, Tom done nothing against me with him, so, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Tom, though, to be fair, yeah. isn't he? We all know who the better Washed ginger any. is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Morgan, isn't it? <laughs> right. Let's move on to the midfield. So, it's been brought to my attention that there's been a bit of a debate in every single school better showdown this advent calendar mm -hmm. and um i seeing as it's kind of fresh as we're recording this on our minds england have obviously been knocked out of the world cup the world cup's finished now by the time you're watching this but i think actually quite a controversial topic at the moment is the manager gareth southgate are you southgate in or are you southgate out well i seen piers morgan tweeted support for gareth southgate so yes. I immediately have to become back Gareth Southgate out. <laughs> I feel, I feel you, I feel you. But actually, I don't know, you know, it's one of them, isn't it? football's a game of fine margins. Yes. And England very definitely could have won that game against France. Mm -hmm. It could have easily gone the opposite way against mm -hmm. probably the best team in the world. Yep. But some of the stuff Southgate did do to then try... I mean, realistically, it was a Harry Kane penalty away from going to extra time. Yeah. Which is not Southgate's fault at all. But why, why is he supping Sterling on for Saka in the 85th minute? Why is he not making subs earlier? Why was the sub Sterling who'd just flown back to Qatar the day before on a seven-hour oh, no. flight after going to see his family because they got robbed? Yeah. Why is he not putting Rashford on in the 70th minute? Yeah. Why did he leave Foden on for so long when he wasn't doing anything? There's like, there's so many... I feel like he set the team up so well. And the game plan was so good and he nullified Mbappe and we were in the game and there was a few dodgy refereeing decisions and their first goal probably shouldn't have stood and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But then it's the subs and the looking at the game and adapting the tactics mid-game that makes a really good manager. Yeah. And you didn't really get that right. Yeah. I, I, I think I would... I'd probably agree, like... I'm, and that's going to sound biased because I'm a Liverpool fan, but when Liverpool have played most of their games, this is an example from like Klopp's, from a good manager's point of view, not like I'm a good manager, but you can tell when there's a good manager, when basically Liverpool have played like 45 minutes first half and we've been absolutely crap. And then every single time second half, there's either a change in 
kind of formation or certain players come on within like 15 minutes or whatever, 60 minutes. And so I, I feel like Southgate's philosophy and obsession with certain types of players can actually only get us so far. Yeah, I Jordan think Henderson gets have a bit slandered. Of... And Jordan Henderson is actually quite good, to be fair. Yeah. But you don't need Jordan Henderson and Declan Rice. No. I think he lacks the ruthlessness you need to be at the very, very top. Um, of international management, at least, where you don't work with the players all of yeah. the time. Like, I think because... Jordan, not to bag on Jordan Henderson, I think Jordan Henderson's a really good player. But did you, yeah. I, seen, I seen a stat popped up and it was most balls received or something like that, or like passed, had the ball past them. And Jordan Henderson was number one. Yeah. But it never goes anywhere yeah. because he's not Rashford or Foden. Mm -hmm. Foden didn't play particularly well against France or Saka, where you give them the ball and they turn and run into some space and create an opening and actually yeah. progress the play. It was, I remember thinking the commentator said, and someone was running with the ball, and I remember the commentator saying, He's got Henderson out to his right, and I just remember thinking, oh, I really hope he doesn't pass it to him. Because we were, like, on yeah. a counter-attack, and then he did, and then he turned around, and the ball went backwards, and then France reset. Yeah. And Henderson, Henderson's really good, but he's not yeah. Bellingham. If we had yeah, two Bellinghams it's, on either side of race, we'd be absolutely insane. But Bellingham yeah. drives forward one way, whereas when it went out to Henderson, it didn't really go anywhere. But that's the thing. When, without Henderson, I don't really think Bellingham could have the f freer role that he had. Um, especially in the latter games, like, for example, against Senegal and, I mean, even against France as well. I mean, I can't actually remember too much of the game um, because it's just all a bit of a blur, to be honest. But, I d yeah, I, I, feel like you, I feel like you need Henderson in there to do allow Bellingham to do but isn't that what, what we'd like job him is? to do. Yeah, but I, don't, I feel like it didn't, it, it didn't really happen with Rice in there. We, st I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it was we we still beat. Uh, we won on our first game, didn't we? Six two. But when you come up against the better teams, I think this is, I think this is what I'm saying. Needs. When we come up against France, it doesn't have the. You could play Jordan Henderson, but just don't play Rice. Yeah, yeah. But then there's the debate like, oh, Rice is unbelievable as well. But yeah. So then sometimes play Rice and put Henderson on the bench, and then when we go two one up, yeah. then you bring Henderson on to lock yeah. the game down. But when you're two That's one down to France and Jordan Henderson's the one receiving the ball at right mid constantly, it's just never yeah. going to go anywhere. I, don't I, know. I think, I think he, will, I think there's one side of it where he does also, always make himself available, and also players always feel like, oh, Hen they can pass. It's hard because I don't want to slate Henderson because Henderson's quality. Yeah. He's just not the player that you want or needed in that situation. And that's on Southgate to be like, oh, we need yeah. to leave Saka on and take Henderson off, not the other way around. Yeah. I mean... I don't know. Yeah, but I think... It's I, easy I do to think sit there need, just... Yeah, I think you need a player like Henderson, though, in the team, because if you see him on the pitch, or I'm sure that the clip's been doing the rounds and stuff, but he is he's almost like a manager on the pitch. Sure. 24-7, um, so... So then take Rice off. That. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm talking going to with like the ruthlessness. But at the same time, we do have to give Southgate a bit of credit. Um, whether it's a coincidence with this kind of like new generation that's coming through, which really do have a bit of a togetherness, and players are just playing up to their what they how they should be playing. Whereas in previous generations, it's been a massive kind of. Uh, but it's just been poor, hasn't it? Purely because there's been little groups of like, oh, the Liverpool players, United players, all not really liking each other. Well, there's a bit of a togetherness, but some stats here. Eight years before Southgate, Euro 2008, didn't qualify. World Cup 2010, last 16 defeat. Euro 2012, quarterfinals defeat. Uh, World Cup 2014, out in the groups. Euro 2016, last 16 defeat. And then after Southgate, World Cup 2018, semis, Euro 20 final, World Cup, World Cup, Quarter final defeat. Um, no, semis defeat. No, quarter final quarter, defeat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, he, he deserves a hell of a lot of respect, but it does make you think if he did, just did have that little bit of ruthlessness in him, I, it could have been the changing factor in some, some games. Um, Here's so, yeah. a question for you. If they didn't have a manager at all, mm -hmm. and it was just Jordan Henderson. Would England have got just as far? No. No? no. What did Southgate do that 
any football manager. Aside from make them all like them, like each other, so it wasn't like. Yeah, but sometimes that's half the job, though. Isn't isolated it? faction. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that doesn't yeah. mean he's a good, tactically a good manager because that makes yeah, you ta- beat yeah. Wales and that makes you beat Senegal when they haven't got money, and it makes you beat the US. And but yeah. every time we come up against somebody good, that's where we. That's they, the. They're just, there that's has the just ceiling. been some. There's been. There's too many controversial decisions which have not then led to success. I think. Yeah. It's it's in, I don't know. It's it. an interesting one. I'm some, somewhat playing devil's advocate and somewhat yeah. agree that he has done a good job because there, it's a results business, isn't it? And at the end of the day, what you've just read out about getting to finals and semifinals and stuff like that, it's still good. And you lost to France just about. Mm-hmm. Like, that's still good. Yeah. But then I do think, like, it's hard to quantify how much of that is yeah. Southgate and how much of it is just that we've got really good players and now they actually all seemingly like yeah. each other and enjoy playing yeah. together and that's the thing this isn't a game of fifa you know these you know we're not control he's not controlling the flipping he doesn't <laughs> he's control he doesn't make harry Maguire suddenly play good <laughs> yeah. like instead of terrible for man united you know yeah i don't know it's an so, interesting one isn't it? yeah let us know in the comments section below. i mean before you, we all know it could be gone i don't think he's gonna be gone but i don't uh, th- yeah. i think i'd probably keep him yeah i would keep him um, Having said all yeah. that, and try to play like Devil's Advocates and stuff, I just wish he had a bit. Yeah, I, that stu- like, change the game and just yeah. be bold and like, yeah, you might lose yeah. three four one to France instead, but you might but actually least, win. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm scrolling for all results, right? This is back in March. Beat Switzerland, yeah. beat Ivory Coast, as you would expect. Yeah. Lost to Hungary, drew to Germany, drew to Italy. Lost to Hungary, lost to Italy, drew to Germany. Mm-hmm. Beat Iran. Like, that was what I was saying. Like, if if you made Jordan Henderson the player manager, like, he's, like you said, a manager on the pitch, surely he could yeah. just rock up with 11 England players and beat Iran. Yeah, yeah. Drew with the US, beat Wales, beat Senegal, lost to France. That isn't actually very good. <sighs> uh, yeah. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. I really thought if we if we could have got past France, let's not get it wrong as well. That France performance was actually very good. We were totally yeah. Feel and the side. They played really ref, well. But the uh, you know we do, it wasn't helped anyway. We were we were hindered by the ref more than we were helped. Uh, put it that way. So yeah, it's an interesting debate. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think. I'm sure you all have some very valid opinions as well. Um, and if there's anything we've missed, let us know in the comment section below, uh, mate. Far away, let's hear your midfield. I want to hear your midfield, Jack. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, right, well, I found a big old pile of FIFA Ultimate Team coins. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and get the 92 Bernardo Silva, the centre mid Jao Cancelo, and also Renato Sanchez. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> <laughs> Who have you put down? So what? <laughs> have you? <laughs> is that the ones to watch Renato Sanchez as well? No, 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 no. I'm not that. I'm not that silly. I'm not that silly. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not the normal oh. one either, mate. <laughs> oh. And I thought you'd turn up with a big pile of Ultimate Team coins. There's no way you've terrible tripled me. I'm not having it. I really so I am not. Inform Neymar. And Verratti. Oh. So you just put all PSG. Fair play. All right, yeah. Fair enough. <sighs> That's disappointing. I could have just gone Virginia again, mate. That Would've is horrendous. <laughs> oh, God. I'll leave uh, Renato Sanchez in there now for the chemistry. And then, obviously, whatever bronze you want to give me, mate, I'll, I will add him in. Yeah. Okay, you're not usually allowed to put two of the same player in your squad. But I'll give you a dupe. <laughs> I, I knew there was going to be a dad joke sooner or later. I knew there was going to be a dad joke sooner. Who, who does he play for? Toulouse, which is what you're going to. <laughs> Can I do? <laughs> oh, two in one. Two in one, baby. <laughs> oh, God. Do you know what? 
I'm, 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 I'm really similar to a broken drum. Just keep banging on about what? Nah, because I can't be beat. Brilliant. <laughs> 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 Unbelievable. Oh, right. Unbelievable. Oh, God. Who did you... Wait, where, where, where was he? <sighs> Doom. Oh, you should make me want to cry, Jack. <laughs> Doom. Where is he? Does he play in the league earn or...? Yeah, he had to lose, mate. <sighs> the last time I cried was at our wedding. Right. Yeah, everyone was. Even the cake was in tears. <laughs> I, you actually, mu you must have just a list on your phone of just. <laughs> you do, don't you? That was a good one, wasn't it? I like you that. You 100% one. do. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Do you want to know what I want? Go on, mate. I am going for I, some I still mate. can't find the dupe, by the way. It's called Dupe. He's Toulouse's goalie. Oh. There we are. Were you looking for Renato Sanchez for someone else? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Are you sure? Yeah, 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 don't worry. Don't okay. Worry. <laughs> All right, I'm going for some major players. Lovro Major. I'll have Traore. Little oop at CDM. Oops. Yeah. And then I've got 4 3 3 2. And I'm going for Robert 1. Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> I can't be stopped. <laughs> you can be. Because you can get that Traore the hell out of there. Really? Yeah, boy. Oops! Really? Get him out, mate! Come on! What about Major and Robert One? No, you can have them all. You can no, no, no. You can't have them all. You can you can have them too, but you you can't have Traore, mate. I'd be down Rabio. Thought you might have you know harbored it up again, but maybe not. And Harrit as well, because he's part of the dynamic duos out at the moment, and he can play centre mid. If you can pronounce this guy's name, yeah, I can have Traore. <laughs> Who is it? 66 rated goalkeeper for Marseille. 66 for Marseille. <laughs> In Gapan Dwentenbu? Nope. Stick try your way on. Come on! How would you say it then? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I asked you, mate. It's definitely Ngapan. Yeah, but I don't think people want... I don't think he wants people to wait five Dwetenbu? minutes for every single time they say his name. Ngapan Dwetenbu. That's got to be close that's to That's actually pretty good, mate. But you're still having... You're still having me in your team. I'm still having you, Jack. <laughs> Ngap um, Uet um, boo. Oh, it if could you be. You know how to pronounce that name. It could yeah. be Ngapand. Uet. Ngapand Uetumbu. Ngapand Uetumbu. Because I was doing Ngapan and then D O U E T. Yeah. But it yeah, could be Ngapand like... and then O U E T. Nice. Wet. It's wet. wet. Stuff, isn't it? so it's yeah, fine. so it is then. It's Wet. Nbu. Ngapand Uetumbu. I think that's pretty close, you know. I reckon that's got to be pretty... Uh, can't yeah, be far I, off. I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty close. Does O-U-E-T make wet? Wet? Uh, I, I, I like so. It's O-U-I, isn't it? It's oui. Yeah. Oui. It's that U, the O-U sound. Sound like you're being <laughs> sick in English. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I, th I'm, oh, I think that's legit. Oh, I think that's legit, mate. Do you reckon I, I've got, I think I might have got oh, quite close now, considering that, I can't yeah. speak French. The limit of my French is de chocolat chaud, s'il vous plaît, and de vin chaud, s'il vous plaît. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jack. Uh, je habite à Breton. Comment t'appelles tu? <laughs> that's the only other thing I can say. 
What's that? What's your name? Oh, I thought that was Comment to Tapel. Is, is that not the same? Is that not Comment to Tapel too? I think it's the same Comment thing. Comment to Tapel Comment to Tapel. I don't know. God knows. Probably actually. the same thing, isn't it? These my French lessons, mate. I'd... Do you remember them like paragraphs you had to write? And then it was like... Mate, my school speaking. got shut down by Ofsted. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds like I'm taking the piss. Genuinely did. Two years after I left, my school got... It was getting investigated by Ofsted whilst I was there. And it got shut oh, down no. two years after. Yeah. So, no, I did not remember <laughs> learning stuff in school, Jack. No. Uh, my... I was in set one. So we everyone right. had to do Spanish. And then set one had to do French as well. But we did mm -hmm. like two lessons... And then the teacher went on maternity leave and they never bothered to get us another French teacher. So we wow. did like the first year in like year 10 and then they just sacked it off in <laughs> year 11 and we just did nothing for that <laughs> that period. Yeah, the only thing I can remember about the, the French lesson is there's like the class clown kid. Yeah. Was obviously known for being a clown and like it was the first lesson with this teacher. And we were all lined up outside the class waiting for elf lesson before to end and everyone's like lined up outside the door waiting to go in and <laughs> we're all filing in and as he walks past he goes hola and she just immediately <laughs> sent him to detention <laughs> <laughs> that's all i can remember about french class i like i was pretty good at like winging exams and winging school and stuff but you can't yeah. wing a language you can't speak <laughs> no nah, not at all not in the slightest so that went very badly. She's. I, I just remember her speaking to me and me just looking at her like, hang on, what you're saying, lady? <laughs> <laughs> Love to see it. <laughs> it <was> so stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even think I passed, mate, to be honest with you. Yeah. I think I got an F. F for French. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a C for yes. <laughs> 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 oh, that one's tickle me. This best all stay in the video. All right, mate. Here we go. Who would you like at the fullback spot? Okay, well, all my players, apart from Robert One, have got full chem. So I'm going to go at right back for a very spicy Marcus Lorente. It's a very ominous silence that I don't like. But in he goes. Mm -hmm. And at left back, Captavia. Interesting pick there, mate. Mm. Totally forgot Marcus Lorente played at right back as well. However, I didn't forget that Kunde played there, which is why I put him down. And you see that Cat de Villa there, mate. Get him the hell out of there. <laughs> oh, Lionel Messi's going to have an absolute field day, isn't he? Do you want another Maya in your team, mate? Another Maya? Yep. Stick him at left back. Oh, Don't shoot him. dear, Joe, that is mean. It's quite mean, isn't it, to be fair? But, you know. You gave me a dupe. I've got to give you another one, mate. Who do you want? I would like... I mean, I've been actually umming and ahhing about this for quite a while, to be fair. Um, we'll have Martinez. And then we will have a bit of... Diogo Dallo. So annoying. I put Luke Shaw and Kerra. And I was tempted to rub Shaw out and put Martinez Kerra. And I didn't. Yes! I was I was gonna put down Kerra, but then I realised it would have made things really difficult because I would have had to actually have a West Ham player. Well yeah, in you could have Corne on the left. Corne Kerra. Yeah, that's a very good point actually. Oh, I didn't think about it. I forgot he plays left mid, didn't he? But he can play left back. You oh, no. Is he a left mid out of pack? She couldn't have done that then. 
because that would have been two position changes in one go. Shall we move into the final three positions? Unfortunately, we should. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, the final three players are to be picked. Do you want me to go first or are you quite happy going first? It's do or die, mate, for me. And you can have anyone in the whole game. Everyone's got full chemistry. Just, just, annoyed, mate. just annoyed me, to be honest with you. Not quite anyone, I guess, because it's not as easy to get full chem this year as it used to be. Nope. You would have been able to go, like, perfect link, strong link, whereas now it has to be perfect link, perfect link, perfect link. Mm -hmm. Not as many options for that, Jack. What are you doing, mate? No. Okay, so, first player, we are going to have a bit of Kera. Kera? The one I wrote down and for right back? Yes. The one you said, I'm going to have to pick a West Ham player if I do that. Yes. Don't worry, you're picking it anyway, taking the piss. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to have Thiago Jallo. Okay. And then I'm going to have Fabianski. Oh my god, you've gone flappy hand skiing goal. Wow. <laughs> you're a joke, Jack. <laughs> Flappy, I wrote a good goal, like Flappy Hansky. I wrote Mendy. Who did, you, who did you put down? Mendy, Romero, and Jallo. Oh. oh, how the tables have turned. <sighs> you can have Jack. My man, Casey, I think. Yeah. Casey. Where does yeah. he play? Casey Walls. Whilst I add him to my team, do you want to reveal the three players I'm going to be guessing? Araujo. Jimenez. Ter Stegen. You are so lucky. I didn't just terrible triple you. You're so lucky I didn't just dirty double you, mate. And you're lucky I only guessed one. Oh, who was it? Jimenez. No. Get the hell. I was going to go Kunde. Well, I mean, my two of my options were. Did Drake Kunde as well? No, I put El Yamik, Jimenez, and Bunu. Because there's a new card, which would have been quite nice, to be fair. Um, but yeah, uh, they're, they're, I mean, whatever you'd done, by the sounds of it, I would have guessed one. So happy days. Uh, you can have Casey Walls, mate, as well, in your team, <laughs> seeing as uh, you decided to give me him. So you can have a little bit of that. What Thank a yourself, terrible mate, time to be alive. A Akotcha scores a double to pass him. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there are teams for day 20 of the Squad Builder Shadow and Advent Calendar. Cast your eyes onto the game now where I'm going to absolutely annihilate. You're going to capitulate, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. All right, mate. Here we go. Day 20. It's on, mate. Good luck, my friend. I wish I had Rebury. <laughs> No what brick walls! A what a challenge. Jesus, I've completely forgot I had him. What? <laughs> what just happened? Mental. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you're playing messy on side, Maya. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. That's okay. so bad. Where are you going, Jack? He just gave you, just gave you the free run. <laughs> Sit down, Messi. Iwobi's my goat. Oh my days! Oh my god! Oh my god! He doesn't have four star skills. Doesn't matter. He's done me. Oh, he's done me. Fair play. <sighs> oh, he hasn't got the mascot in game. Oh no 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 no! Oh, that's poor. It's poor defending from me. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, how's that got through? Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh I was about to say, yeah, fair play. Good god. gold. How? Can somebody freaking tell me how? That has not gone in. Uh, you're kidding me. Oh, come on. Oh, how have you still got the ball? Oh, you've scored as well. Come on. Somehow the... I've got that. <laughs> One minute 40 as well, ref. You little joke. <laughs> Somehow I've got the Jesus, man. Okay. Well, that makes up for the dodgy miss. By yeah, you Sony. definitely should have scored like two minutes before that anyway. Yeah. So, all right, look, I think, I think we both take that going into the break. 1-1. One, one. Casey Walls! Oh, what a oh save. Oh, my Keep it days. in there. Bloody hell, Marcus Lorente. <sighs> what? Are you mental? Oh, they won't oh, pass fast challenge. enough because of the seagulls. <laughs> Oh my god, can you stop? <laughs> Ref, that's a red card. That is off the ball. Filth. Oh, that's a good ball as well. Oh, the touch is sensational. It's deserved of a goal, to be honest. Oh, with flappy you. hand ski. You ain't getting past Casey, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting past Casey. I read the little tramp, but it went the other way. <laughs> There's not much to replay that one. <laughs> There's nothing nice about that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm getting past no! Casey. <laughs> oh, Flappy Hanske. He's done well He's again. He's made so many saves. He really has. Wait, how are you beating me to the ball and I have to call them short game? No. Save that one, oh Flappy Anski. Days, man. For God's sake. <sighs> Piss off, Casey. Piss off, Casey. It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. <sighs> Finally. <laughs> oh my god, that went through your legs. No! Why have I done that? Please don't score on the counter, Jack. Oh. Oh, that's it. It's game. That's game. That's game. That's game. No! It, oh, it was meant to go into Ben no. Yedder. Okay, I haven't got to discard. Oh, I'll so take annoyed. it. I'm so annoyed. Well played, mate. Well played. That was a sweaty like game of FIFA. I that gone either way. Yeah. Um... Oh, Flappy I mean, Hansky, mate. What is he on? Yeah. <laughs> I know. He did save you. So did your post. Your post saved. My post saved a lot, to be fair. Oh, two saves for Tostegan and two saves for the post. <laughs> yeah. Literally. What have you got? Eight saves oh. for Flappy Hansky and one save yeah, from the he, bar. He, he had a great game. He had a great game. Um, unfortunately for me, I've got some very expensive players in here. That I do not want to be discarded. See, you love to see, mate. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Justice oh, is a dish best served immediately. <laughs> it's it now. Oh, no. Right. Far away, mate. 4-3-3. Four, three, three. Four. Left, centre, mid. Oh, come on. Oh, God. All right. You got Martinez. So it's 200k, mate. You've done well, but... It's not um, Ococcia or Messi. No, in fact, he's 143k. Uh, Messi was... I tried to not put any of my players where I had big discards before. <laughs> um, so, but Messi left wing, Ococcia cam, uh, Bernardo Silva striker. Right wing would have actually been quite bad, and that's where most of my bad discards come from. But you put all the crap players like right centre mid, right centre back, right back. Fair. Because that's where that's where I usually get hit. So yeah, um, I'll just work this into a gold upgrade whilst we're doing the outro. And there we have it. Martinez is in a gold upgrade. We'll submit that right now. Thank you 
very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash a like. That would be absolutely amazing. Go and check out Day 19 and all the other Squad Builder Showdown Advent Calendar episodes. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.